Don, you mentioned yesterday that they were going to try to junk it up with some zone press and that kind of thing. Just uh, did, did you have to keep telling them, say, hey, get it to the bigs, get it to them, that you've got the superior height advantage? <laughs> I mean, you, you could say that. I mean, it's easier said than done. Um, I mean, they, I mean, obviously they, they respected our, you know, our, our post players and the ability to just control the paint. Um, and I thought they, you know, pressed a lot more um, to slow us down. Uh, we, we really couldn't f find a good pace. And once we did get into a little pace, we turned the ball over or we scored. I mean, it was, it was either or. We probably turned the ball over uh, two to three times. Um, you know, but we knew the game was going to be won in rebounding. And the last three minutes of the game is where we secured the win. <laughs> Don, obviously heading into today, you guys have been battle tested against top 10 teams. But to be able to have Lee Lee back in there, what does she bring this team, having her presence back on the court? And um, just your thoughts on, on that loud ovation she got when she checked in. You know, Lily's been, I mean, Lily's been in our program for f four years. It's the fifth year, and um, I mean, she brings energy. I mean, she brings experience. She brings um, just the intangibles. You know, she got offensive rebounds, putbacks. I mean, she she did the things that she, she normally does for us, and that's some of the things that we, we miss. I mean, so it's a certain comfort we have when Lily's on the floor and when Lily's actually um, eligible to play. Um, and she she brought that. I, I thought uh, I thought it would probably look a little bit uh, more worse than it did because the moment we said, "Hey, Lily, we, we we can we can play you spot minutes in a game," um, she actually started turning the ball over. She started, and I was like, "Yeah, I knocked the rest off. It may it may be just this way um, tomorrow in the game." And actually, it wasn't. So I guess the game brought a little bit more focus. I thought the. The fans did a great job of giving her an ovation, and you know she felt comfortable and locked in. Hey, Don, you've mentioned before, you know, letting your stars be stars, and tonight we really saw Zaya and Aaliyah kind of, you know, take take the take the spotlight and also eclipse a thousand points, both of them. Just kind of for their impact on the program so far, and then especially tonight. Just what have you seen from them? How would you reflect on just the difference that they've made, and especially, you know, against Maryland today? I mean, when you when you have you know two Three, I mean, the class, the entire 2019 class, when you have a collection of players that um, want to play with each other, um, you can really make magic happen. And um, Aaliyah and both Zaya have done that. Um, and I'm, I'm glad they're, they're teammates. I'm glad that we have an inside-outside um, opportunity to, to make teams pay. And I just thought at, at certain points in the game, they both – um, were the catalyst that we needed to score a point or get a steal or get a stop or get a rebound. And they bring that presence uh, for our team for the, for the past three, two and a half years. Don, when you're, when you're out there on the sideline, you're, you're coaching your team up, and, and you see them execute a game plan like, like the rebounding, especially on the offensive glass tonight. What's it like for you as the coach to kind of see them execute to – to that level, and then two, Victoria's three offensive rebounds, I think within the final three minutes tonight. Talk about her, just her role on this team and, and how she's able to fill it and what she means to this team. Well, I mean, the, that part of it, the rebounding was executed. I don't, I don't know if anything, anything else was. I think we were scratching and clawing to just try to score more points than them. And we needed, uh, I think we out rebounding them by, what, what is that, 27? Um, and, and still only win by seven. We had to do that in order for us to win a basketball game. It was one of the non-negotiables um, when it comes to beating a team like, like, like Maryland. And then V, you know, V is, I mean, she's that. She, she allows the stars to be stars. And then when a player like that does her job, gets three offensive rebounds at the end of the basketball game, she then becomes a star. Um, but we, we know that. Uh, she's not the one that is going to get the headlines, and she she probably not the one that wants it. Um, she just wants to win, and she she does her part in doing that. 
on two uh, quick ones. Did you learn anything about your team being trailing midway through the fourth quarter and then performing and rallying to come back? And two, the job that Bria did on um, Ashley, number 13? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, no. I mean, it, it, it happened so fast. We actually got out to, you know, seven-point lead, I think, and it, it, they erased it and took the lead. Um, but But we knew why. Like, when you know why it's happening and it was a stretch where we turned the ball over six out of eight times that's the reason why and when you're able to fix that and it may not be in the you know in the sense of not turning it over it's in the sense of rebounding the basketball if we could have just gotten shots at the basket the way that we were rebounding we gives our we give ourselves a chance to, to score um and a lot of that had to come from scoring just you know getting getting up there yeah, I thought this particular game, uh, we missed Henny. I mean, we missed a, a point guard. It's nothing against LA. Is they shouldered, you know, a different look. And if you're not a point guard, picking up on those things, it's hard. But I know she'll learn from it. Um, you know, I thought we got some good min minutes from Rivers. I mean, Rivers was was big, and hopefully we can continue to. Um, strengthen our bench with, with, with different players. And tonight was her night, and um, I thought she held serve. Uh, oh, Bree. I mean, I mean, Bree is, I mean, this, this is what she does. Like, she's a specialty. I don't, if you watch us play, you know, you might, you might fall in love with our ability to defend. Um, I mean, there, there's a catalyst within all of that. And she's that. Like, she wants to, um, she wants to stop our opponent's uh, best perimeter player, and she takes that to heart. And I thought she did a a tremendous job. She did a great job. I thought LA did a great job. We just showed her different looks when it, you know, when it when it came down to just different points in the game. And you know, Ashley's a Ashley's a, a pretty darn good player. Pretty good one on one player. I thought. Um, there was a stretch in the beginning of the fourth quarter where, you know, she got us to foul her a little bit. Um, but if that wasn't happening throughout the entire, if that was happening throughout the entire game, it, it would it would probably be a different, you know, we would be, you know, not the the winning team. Yeah. Hey, Don. Um, you guys have won a lot of lopsided games this year, especially against some pretty good teams. Is there value in a game like this where you kind of? Get challenged in maybe a different way. I mean, I mean, it's value in that you you beat another great team that's going to the tournament that could be in the you know final four that could you know there's value into that um, you know, but I'm I, I'm I'm sure our players are feeling it like right now they're gonna feel it tomorrow, um, so we, we can't do anything. So I don't I mean the value is we win but we got to take a day off and we got one day to prepare for Duke. So, um, yeah, it is, and it's always be it's better when you win. I mean, it's, it's better. It's better we that, that day off would feel a lot better than if we lost this game. We would we would have taken a day off regardless. Coach, you've said before that this might be your best defensive team, but do you believe this might be your best rebounding team as well? Yeah, I, I do. I mean, it it is probably a it's probably a direct relationship with it, you know, defense and rebounding. Um, and I, I do, I, I think we do a, a really great job at it. Um, and it's, you know, it's not just our bigs, it's, it's Bree, she's on it. It's our bigs and our big guards are really um, holding it down for us. I'll follow up to that as well. Um, going into today's game, uh, knowing that Maryland was going to throw some zones at you, was it a concerted effort in practice this week to make sure that Every player on the roster was knowing that they need to be getting on the boards and crashing and make it that advantage for the team today. No, I don't think that was an emphasis. The, the emphasis was on the zone, and the emphasis was on their three-quarter court press. Um, that we, you know, we we had difficulty with it. I'm looking at 16 turnovers. That's that's pretty good. I thought it was worse than that. I thought it was a lot worse than that. Um, you know, but the, the rebounding gave us an opportunity to, to, to hang in there. Because if, uh, if we just had to, if we had the bank on 36% shooting, 
We're not, we're not going to win the game. Uh, just one more from the Zoom. Were you able to catch up at all with Lindsay Spann and uh, kind of reminisce a little bit? And was it mean for you to see her, you know, really in a big role with, with a top 10 yeah, team? I'm, I'm proud of Lindsay. I mean, Lindsay, um, when we were recruiting her as a grad transfer, she wanted to be a coach, hands down. She said, I want to be a coach. Um, she got an opportunity to be our grad assistant, um, I believe, right? Yeah. yeah, she was our grad assistant. It almost seems like because she got hurt and then she started helping us coach a little bit. So, I'm, you know, running that together. But it, 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 it doesn't surprise me that she got an opportunity to move up. You know, the pandemic did help, you know, in losing the coach and she could slide right in. And um, Brenda wouldn't have kept her on as a, as a full time um, assistant coach if, if she wasn't really good at what she does. So proud of her. I did get to see, see her, her, her mom and dad. And, uh, and I know. I, I know they, they love Maryland, but a small part of them, you know, kind of was cheering for our Gamecocks. <laughs> thank, thank you.